What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here, bringing you probably a late, late video. You guys probably know most of this stuff, but uh, I haven't done like a, a, a since the recent update a tips or how to kind of thing. Um, I didn't even use all these until recently, so just wanted to bring you a video that shows you some, you know, cool tips, hints, tricks. Um, you know, shortcuts, things that you can do in order to uh, uh, either farm more uh, effectively, quicker, or, you know, just figure out what you got going on instead of having to go back and forth a million times. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to figure out what's in your CC while you're doing an attack. Um, I used to have to go back out, figure out what I had in my CC because I, CC I forgot about it. So uh, th I think this works in war as well, but you really should check before you do that in war. But let's say I'm d trying to get some farm attacks in and I've got my army. I'm looking at the bottom here, but I don't remember what my CC is. All you need to do is hold on to that CC button. Just put your finger down on it and you can see the little pop up there and it will tell you exactly what you have in your clan castle so you don't have to exit out and you can go ahead and just carry on with your attack okay so for the next tip it's I'm sure it's been covered already by some of the other youtubers out there but again I just want to go ahead and touch on it army uh, cooking before you used to be able to take target each individual barracks and dark barracks that you had and cook a certain amount of armies in each one of those barracks and do that at this point there's no more barrack cooking uh, allowed or around um, it just goes ahead and takes advantage of all your barracks and all your dark barracks and cooks them in a queue now you can manipulate which ones you want to cook first and move them around and do that kind of thing but for this example um, I've got my army already cooked as you can see right here my spells already cooked and my clan castles already in there but the cool thing about this is you can go ahead and train your a second army in the background that will com be completely cooked uh, so that when you're finished with art with warring with that uh, current army that you have this one that's queued up will instantaneously be put into your next current army so you don't have to wait at all now obviously if I want to add on to units it will take a little bit of time to cook those units as you can see the time there but you can manipulate these things and move them around to the front and to the back and do whatever you can you want to do um, which makes things a lot easier for number one for farming to be able to make it more efficient and the really cool thing about this is you can go ahead and donate these troops that are in your secondary army to any of your clan members that want them. So as you can see, I don't have any baby dragons cooked, any golems, any hot lava hounds, any um, uh, loons or anything like that. But if my clan mates ask for Valkyries, golems, lava hounds, baby dragons, wizards, whatever it may be, I can donate them from this second tier of armies and uh, I can still continue with my current army to go ahead and war so it doesn't do anything to it and all I do is just go ahead and, and recook those armies that I've replaced by just uh, go ahead and clicking on them and taking care of it as so and as you can see you can go ahead and add and delete these things um, as you feel need and you'll get the elixir and dark elixir back with no penalties whatsoever so very 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 cool uh, feature and the last thing about um, just training the troops as a secondary army, what I usually do right before I log off so I don't get hit but with a huge amount of elixir, I'll go ahead and train 11 of my level 4 dragons for uh, about 450 or so uh, elixir and that will go ahead and train my troops up. I'll go ahead and get attacked and as soon as I log back into the game, I'll just delete all those 11 dragons that are that were queued up and I'll get all that 400 uh, plus uh, 400,000 plus elixir back which just means I have less elixir to be looted from me. So it's, it's very nice. So uh, last thing about cooking the armies, um, you can have your previous army. So if you use the same army uh, consistently or you're going to use the, the same army over and over again, um, you can use the previous one. Or you can go ahead and train three different templates of armies. I have a farming army. I have two of my clan war armies that I can go ahead and start cooking at their, their standard and then I can go ahead and manipulate them as I see fit. As soon as you click the train button, um, you can go ahead and it will be put into this queue and then you can go ahead and delete the ones you don't need and add ones that you do and move and uh, move them around just like I showed you before. So 
Um, love the, you know, the new quick build and the new um, training troops in the secondary. And, uh, you know, they've, just in case you guys have probably already noticed, but they've reduced the cost of these things as far as time considerably. Golems used to be 30 minutes, then 15 minutes, and now they're down to five minutes. Uh, at one point, wizards were uh, eight minutes, then five minutes, now 30 seconds. So, uh, you, you know, you can really go ahead and manipulate this to uh, what you think is the best for you. So very, very cool stuff. I really love it. Um, and you, of course, cannot boost your barrack anymore. You have to boost the entire uh, army uh, or the entire full barracks in order to do that. So there's a little boost button there. So good stuff. Okay. Um, again, this is, might be something that you guys have already known and used and say, Apollyon, we've known this forever. That's good, though. I mean, that's good. I, I'm like some of these things I just have never used before. For example, your shield and your guard. Um, I use them all the time. I'm in Masters, one, uh, Masters 3, almost in Masters 2. Or is it Champs? I forget what it is. I think I'm in Champs. Yeah, Champ. I'm sorry. I'm in Champs 3, almost in Champs 2. So I get a uh, an hour guard after my shield runs out, but sometimes when I'm going to sleep, I might have a four hour shield or something like that. But I don't want all that elixir from my elixir, um, all, all my uh, my storage and everything like that, or my uh, I'm sorry, my collectors to to pile up. And I want to go ahead and get rid of that and just get attacked and reset my shield to my time again. So all you need to do is click that shield right up top at the 12 o'clock there. And it will tell you that your shield is active for X amount of time. Now, you have a remove button. All you need to do is click that remove button. It will remove your shield to zero. And then your guard will kick in if you're in a league where you get a guard. Same thing can be done. As soon as you get that guard, you can go ahead and click the same shield right here. And it will say your guard is around for two hours, an hour, 30 minutes, whatever it may be. And you can remove that as well. And then you can go ahead and uh, get attacked. Sometimes you need to do this in order for to get your uh, clan war attacks in there. You don't want to lose your clan castle that you're going to get in a couple minutes. So you go ahead and re get rid of your shield, get rid of your guard, get that, uh, get attacked, then go ahead and plan your war out there, get, get uh, everything set. And you won't have to worry about that specific timer. So uh, just something that I never knew was available. I always thought you had to wait it out until it was done and you, that was it. Okay, for our last one, it's going. there's a, a little thing with the social uh, friends, a little feature in there that uh, at the top little blue icon right next to your name, you can go ahead and click on that and it will take you into the social and this will give you uh, your friend requests and if you have one a little red dot will pop up in that little blue icon up top and it will tell you have friends requests and you can go ahead in there and you either can click the green button to accept or the red button to go ahead and decline and uh, you can keep track of your friends what clans they're in and everything like that easy access to go ahead and view their profile and so forth so very very cool type of feature now um, hopefully these are, you know, these are some of the tips that I've learned that have just made farming and clan wars more efficient, more effective to get the uh, best use out of my time and elixir and everything else like that. I know I've forgotten quite a bit and, or haven't listed everything that's been fixed. Uh, you know, things that, uh, friendly challenges, how to go ahead and, and do those and how to accept them. And, uh, just, just a bunch of other little quick things, but, um, these are things I think that I wasn't completely aware of or I didn't know until just a little bit ago uh, playing around with it and uh, other people telling me. So hopefully you guys found this uh, really helpful. Um, let me know if, uh, you know if I missed anything really big that's, uh, that's a huge thing that you guys love from that the latest update that's come out as far as the user interface. Um, also, I am looking at starting a Patreon. Um, I want to bring more videos to you guys. I want to bring better content, uh, better quality everything like that but it is quite time consuming and uh, you know it's taking a lot from me uh, without giving me too much uh, I want to be able to go ahead and buy new hardware and things like that and uh, you know and help you guys out as well but of course just making my time uh, worth it for me as I don't do it for you know I only do it for fun so it, it'll help me out produce more content so let me know if you guys would be interested uh, in joining a patreon of mine I'll go ahead and set it up if, if I get enough response back and I'll set tiers up so where I can go ahead and give 
give you guys bases. Um, my Patreons, I can help you plan attacks, visit clans, join wars, depending on what kind of Patreon you are, and um, you know, set up a Discord server so that uh, we can go ahead and talk a, a couple times a week or, or whatever. You have access to me as well, just to bounce things off. So i uh, love to do that kind of stuff. So anyway, let me know. Give me some comments down below if that makes sense to you. Go ahead and share this with your uh, clan members. Like, subscribe. If you haven't already, I do appreciate everything everybody uh, and uh, all the comments that you guys do leave so hopefully you guys are, were able to take this information um, go ahead and you know play around with those user interfaces get it down uh, make it effective and go ahead and get those six star clan wars and practice those three star attacks